pair of cheap whores who water down wine? Hey, I can't I'll control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. Well, you know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you find your side. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, man, you have left me a gift last time. Never given me nothing. I'll give you a discount. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. Why? Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Ah, 
finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh. This can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. Flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Ah! guard! What? Uh, Lost your nerve? You're better than I thought. Oh. Uh. Ah! Go on, Dandelion! I mean, Crimson Avenger! The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Just hopped out for a smoke. He's still arguing. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all pizza. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion is like. Get up. You've known him long. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm 
Absolutely not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. I'll give you a discount for her. I met you, mate, back there at Lockwood. Or is that huh? Look. Oh, darn it to heck. Polly, everything all right? Open up. You've got this nonsense once I'll put a ring on your finger. the ruckus about. Polly and her half-brained fiancé, they're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait. Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. It and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. Ask nicely, but you just wouldn't listen, and I'm not the kind to give second chances. Stay out of this, freak, before this ends with you getting your head smashed in. Gentlemen, please. There it is. One word too many. Son of a Mistake. Sorry, dear. Geralt can get carried away at times and... You know, maybe it's for the best. I felt no pity, no remorse as I watched you brawl. Can't help but think it means I've no actual feelings for Hubio. You're not mad? No. Grateful. I believe I needed a shock not unlike that one to understand that what I had with Hubio, well, 
It wasn't working. I'm ready to try something new. I'd gladly start by choreographing your review. Excellent. Then I'll see you at the Rosemary in Time. Huh. Kind of expected her to get hysterical, fly into a rage. So did I. Merely goes to show just how much we've yet to learn about women. One of whom's waiting for you at the Rosemary. I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rodlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine before the carcass is picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Yeah! Come on! Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Considerable sum in the vent, but you shan't back out on that account, eh? You Rodlick? Henri Rodlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away, yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, 
I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. <laughs> Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races. Tell me about them. They run as per Erasmus Vega Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. I want to race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent, your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. On three, one, two, three, off you go! Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I side you up for another? Like to race again. Excellent, don't go anywhere, we'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go!
final of the Erasmus Vagel Bud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Final of the Erasmus Vagelbart Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Is there a land where I might find more of your kind? Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Yeah, brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. for the invite. Congratulations. Quite the winner, the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Palio? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. The Palio's a race held at night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. Fine, I'll race. Lovely, colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, cos I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. Palio is above all a race of honor. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. 
Beaver had a good up for proving you. Congratulations. Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple God! Scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt.